So in this video, we're going to look at how to find speed from a curved distance time graph. Now, hopefully you remember in the previous video that we used the gradient of distance time graph to find the speed. But the problem is, how do you find the gradient when the graph is curved? So imagine with this graph that I wanted to find out the speed at a time of three seconds, which would correspond to this point here. Now the graph is curved at that point, so it's not straightforward to find the gradient. So the process there is that you need to draw in a line called a tangent to the curve. And the idea is to put a ruler alongside the line, which is <coughs> um, has the, the gradient of the line at that point. So adjusting this, that looks reasonable for the time of three seconds. And you'll notice that it should just touch the curve at the one point. And I can draw in a line. And you'll notice that drawing in that tangent, I've drawn the line really long. And the reason for that is that having drawn the tangent to my line, I now need to find the gradient of that tangent. So if you remember from before, the gradient is equal to the change in y over the change in x, or the distance, uh, the change in distance divided by the change in time. And so I need to pick two points um, to <coughs> find the gradient between, and I might as well pick some nice easy points. So I'm going to choose this point here and this point here. So if I do the change in distance first of all, the distance at the end is 100 and the distance at the start is 0 so the change in distance is 100 and then <clears throat> if I want to do the change in time the time scale is a little bit trickier here so 5 little squares represents 2 which means each little square would represent 0 0.4 so that would mean at the finish it's 18 and one little square, so that would be a time of 18.4. And then the time at the start is three little squares, each worth 0.4, which would be 1.2. So that would give me 100 over 17.2. And I can get my calculator now and do 100 divided by 17.2, which would give me a fraction so I can press this button to get my decimal and I'd do that as 5.8 meters per second. So if I wanted to find the speed at another time, say at um, <clears throat> 13 seconds, then I'd need to mark off point at 13 seconds and draw in another tangent at that time and repeat the process.